Day one of a 2016 Thanksgiving double murder trial is over. Joel Guy Jr., who's accused of killing his parents, watched and listened to seven hours of testimony from some of his family members today and the investigators who discovered the grisly scene at his family's Knoxville home. Joel Guy Sr. and Lisa Guy were killed, their bodies dismembered. Four years ago, they were planning to tell their son over the holidays he was cut off financially. Six on your side reporter Madison Kibbe is live outside the courtroom after after this first day, Madison, do we know any more about a possible motive? Today we heard from family members, as you mentioned, and they all testified that they'd had separate conversations with both Joel Guy Sr. and Lisa Guy about their plans to cut their son off financially. Lisa, we learned today, didn't actually need to be working, but that her paycheck went entirely back to paying the bills for her son. Let's go back to November 2016. The guys had plans to retire, move into the family home, and move out of Knoxville. Paying for their nearly 30-year-old son wasn't part of that plan. Today, during opening statements, the state showing us these notes. You're seeing handwritten plans for a murder. The state found the notebook with these plans in Guy Jr.'s stuff, from the supplies he believed he needed to a plan to get rid of any evidence, creating a homemade acid mixture all the way through to the plan for an alibi. The notes show that Guy Jr. planned to send a text from his mother's phone to his own, creating the illusion she was still alive. In these opening statements, the prosecutor read lines straight from the notebook to jurors as these images were shown to the court. He's not alive to claim her half of the insurance money, all mine, $500,000. The next line is body gives time of death, alibi. Don't have to get rid of body if there's no forensic evidence on the body. So what's next? We know that more than 60 witnesses could be called to testify during this trial. This morning, carts and carts of evidence were rolled into the courtroom, and today is only day one. Of course, I'll be here from gavel to gavel until there's a verdict.